Hey, it's Coley. If you don't know, and it is time for some more of the Arkham Megalo. We are at 381 out of 3,231 checks. Um, and so hopefully we can get some more progress done today. I'm going to push the start button. I'm going to reload the run screen. We can take a look at where we're at. So, um, I've been through, um, uh, I've been through the current inventory and, um, took a look at what, uh, what I can progress in. And now you will see a colored dot, uh, on each one of these, uh, indicator panels. Uh, green means that the game is available and has progression. Um, blue means that there are limited checks that can be made, but no progression. Uh, red means that the game is in BK. There is also orange for a game that is done, and black for a game that has been released. Uh, so how it stands right now, bumper stickers is currently um, available. There's five treasure bumpers that have not been claimed, but I need eight as well as one bonus booster to continue. Uh, Meredith has plenty of, uh, of things that I can still do, but uh, it might be a bit of a struggle with three, three reflect shields and one circuit chart upgrade. Uh, Link to the Past, I should be able to do Eastern Palace. Time Spinner, I have the Spindle and Wheel, which means I should be able to uh, go to the present and do that. Uh, Tunic is where we're going to be starting today. Um, and I am hoping that I should be able to do a little, a little more stuff on the main overworld. Um, we'll see how much I am able to reach, but uh, I think I'm going to be able to make a little progress. Uh, a short hike, I need one of several progression items to really move forward, most notably Golden Feathers, but also a variety of other things will be able, will allow me to do more checks there. Crosscode, um, I need the Mine Pass to get into Bergen Mine, uh, but there are still some checks here and there that I might be able to get to. It just would take a little bit of jumping around, really. Astalon, I think... I think I can progress in. There's been some doors open since the last time I was in there, so hopefully I will be able to do a couple of things there. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission is currently hard locked. Uh, I will need Grapple or Ice Beam in order to get out of where I am now. Symphony of the Night, uh, still plenty of things to do, I think, uh, at the very least when we left off last week. Um, there was I wasn't done yet, just I ran out of time. Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, I still need Code Mouth as far as I can tell to be able to get out of the first actual stage. In Final Fantasy XIV, Reaper is at level 50, which means I have access to endgame ARR stuff, but I'm still limited to which zones I have access to. Um, mainly that... Uh, I have a I have access to East Shroud that I haven't been to um yet, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh so I have some fates that I can get into and maybe one more duty. And I noticed that the total time is not updating, despite the fact that it should be. That's concerning. All that updated, but it's not updating the time. Ah. What you doing, Sammy? What you doing? Well, this is obviously loaded, because otherwise...
Well, whatever. There might be some manual updating that I need to do later on. Oh yes, I need to... I should probably plug in my controller if I want to use it, right? Generally, that's how it works. Wait for it to recognize, hopefully. Hmm. It is not recognizing. Yeah, I'm right, right now just using the... Okay, let me restart Tunic. Also, my fridge is dying again. It just started doing that just before the stream. So everything is breaking down. Great. Still no input from the controller, so I don't know what's going on there. Everything is fucking fantastic. Oh my goodness. Um, Okay. Let's so just wait for everything to come in here. I don't know how to get to the coils under the fridge, and I don't have a can of air. So I thought I had turned off uh, traps, but I guess I didn't. Is that all of them? Hmm. All right, well, let's make some offerings. Um, I forget what each of these is. I, this is attack. This is... I don't remember. But no, most notably, it's still not a sword, so like... Oh, that is defense, okay. Yeah, I still don't have a sword, so that might cause some issues. Also, I don't have as much money as I thought I would. Pretty sure that's... What is this? Health?
as attack for sure. Sure if this uh thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hydration achieved. Not sure if that lava was there before. into here and check your game some blue door high potion and yet another waddle D which by the way this for for the sake of uh, for the sake of numbers here uh, there are now 47 waddle D's uh, been unlocked in the, the Kirby game. Please tell a short story of this game. Um, foxes washed up on a deserted island and uh, decides to look around. It's not really much that you're given here as far as a uh, storyline because it pretty much everything is told in this weird written language. And also in, in the manual, which is also mostly written in that weird language. Um, it's also very hard to get around when you don't have a proper weapon. Do I have any fire bombs? I have two. Have I been over here? I probably have. And there's also a ladder here that hasn't been unlocked yet. for fun why uh, where was that ladder that I found my goodness opened the wall day the wall 
on the purple, which is just an item to sell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had this ladder, and then it just disappeared. Also, I just noticed that the uh, the checks, the check count is not being updated either. Did the script get parked. Oh, okay. I think I know what the problem is now. Hang on, let me let me see if I can fix this here. No, delete that. Start it up again. Fatal error. Cool. Yeah, something is parking the script as soon as it starts, and I don't know what the deal is. Because it was working for the most part last week. I'm good on panels, thanks. If you're here to sell me panels, you don't need to do that. I think I figured it out here. Um, 
gonna delete that. It's probably gonna make it crash again. Yeah. No, it's still parking immediately. Of course it crashed. Oh, why is it crashing now? If you in time, I'm stuck with those other ones already set. I'm sorry, I, this, these are things that I really should be testing before we get started, but like... Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Should fix it. Theoretically. It's ticking at the very least. Okay, well, it's not connected to OBS right now, so... Okay, I will have to do some adjustments to the uh, to the times, but um, I think it's working again now. <laughs> the, the problem is there's only so much that I can test without actually just doing the thing. Also, yeah, I wanted to see if. Um, Oh, I don't think I was supposed to have that ladder. I have the, the ladder near Temple Rafters and ladders in a well. But I don't think this was a ladder that was supposed to be unlocked. So, whoops. I don't think I used that one? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh. This is this is what I was missing. This is this is where the progression is actually. Ow. Okay, and I had access to down here anyway. Just that I I used the ladder that I should not have had access to.
I mean, the the nature of a randomizer, like unless it is baked directly into the game. You're gonna probably run into some problems. Okay, but we're we're back now. Things are working. I found the problem in the script. And it's just this back place here, right? Yeah. Now, there are definitely still some green dots around. I just am not sure how to route through this game effectively. Whoa! start. I guess while I'm trying to figure this out, I can go over some technical details of why the thing wasn't working. It's still on. Uh, Dona, thank you for the Prime Resub. Also, hello, how are you doing? I could just get up here from this way. Oh, uh, well, I ran into some dumb technical issues at the, the beginning of the stream, and I spent like five minutes trying to fix it. Uh, and I was just about to get into what the problem was. So, um, basically, so I have two programs running. I have Sammy, which is controlling uh, all of the front-end OBS stuff for the most part, and also like tabulating the amount of time spent in each game. But I also have a piece of what is called middleware, uh, which is written in TypeScript, which basically reads the output of the... Um, the what's up? The, the archipelago server it reads the output, parses out which checks have gone to where, and runs a small crappy API server, which is then read by Sammy to update the amount of checks that has been done, you know, on the uh, on the overlay. Um, there are two endpoints. There is one that is, that uh, returns the total number of checks and one that returns the number of checks since the last time it was read. And uh, if no checks have been made since the last time it was read, uh, it returns HTTP 204, which is to say no data was, was sent, but the operation completed successfully. Super metric. Uh, but uh, the thing is, um it was reading the it was reading a status other than 200 and parking the script not realizing that 204 is fine just don't update the um the overlay if that's the case so when i got that 204 signal it thought well the api isn't working anymore I'm going to park the script, and so nothing was updating. Uh, 
There we go. That is approximately what I wanted to do so I can have access to this. And this should give me a check. Strength potion to slot 10. Uh, which I believe is, um, yeah, that's all card. Also, where is my... There we go. Also, if, if you hear that sound, Donut, that is my fridge not having a good time. Like, that's the thing, like, the, the fridge will be doing, like, just starts doing that out of nowhere. And might do it for, like, hours or days or weeks and then stop for, like, several months. And then it just started just before I started streaming today. So that's great. sure oh now I'm stuck here well you're lost um I was hoping that I could do more so like the thing is the tracker definitely thinks I can do a lot more wait is there somewhere I can get from here yes okay see that's the thing there's a bunch of like hidden passages like that and like I just don't know all of them also hey J-pop okay that's closed I need to open that from the other side and still don't have the Holy Cross, so I can't open that door. A rare stone for slot 11. Actually, isn't there something behind here? Yeah. Locked. Yeah, I need at least 10 fairies, if not 20. Like in the movie Clue, or in the board game Clue. Yeah, I'm not getting anything done in here. There is an out of logic check in there that I can technically get, but like, I don't know the dark rooms in this game. Levels of white mage. Another Waddle D. That's up to forty eight now. Can I open this? Nope. I'm going to take that as a no.
Ah. Uh, I might have been able to because I think right next to the uh, ladder there is actually safe. I like a secret passage here. But yeah, that's that's kind of the deal with uh with tunic because there's a bunch of like hidden passageways that can take you all over the game if you really know where they are. Okay. Okay, so all of them are dead now. your range. There we go. So this is permanently open now. It's another door open for uh, Team Arias. And yeah, there's definitely some checks that I can do here. Provided that I don't die. Like, the problem is, all these checks are in logic. At least now I can come down here with a full set of health. Oh wait, don't I have... Yeah, I do. I have a magic wand, I can use that. Why didn't I think of that? Like, I know, I know that I saw it while, uh... While the checks were loading up, but, uh... I think from the technical difficulties, I kind of forgot that I got it, so... Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Blazing bun for uh, Leah. Perfect. I was hoping that would happen. Don't think I can get anywhere from there. Chest here. The neutron bomb for slot 10. Ooh. 
Ooh, those things take eight shots. And just push these, sort of. There we go. Don't need to spend the shots. Open things up a little more. Bye bye. Okay. Need to get there from the next room. some SP back to use here. And <laughs> tapping into your full cat powers. Oh, what is a fox really but a different kind of cat? There we go. It also just takes one bomb to take these out. Oh, they have they have shields. Uh oh. I am out of magic. And there are these guys. We're also going to be concerned about the um, baddies chasing me, so at least there's that. Got some score for bumper stickers. Hey Zero, how you doing? Whole family's here now. Been ma? You've been a mother? Congratulations. Well, I hope you had a good day at work. Get some risotto for Leah. And get this. Yes. The flaming bun. Okay, well that was a pretty good chunk of checks. Treasure bumper, that makes six. Unfortunately, I don't have prayer activated, so I can't... Uh, can't affect this monolith. Well, I'm glad that my stream is important enough that uh, that you have it on during your drive. This, yeah, eyes on the road. Um, says there's a check over here. Oh, there we go. Very pick me up. And there should be a check around here as well. There we go. 
golden triangle for slot seven. Slot seven, that's uh, that's Crossco. Golden triangle. That's that's, that's got to be a uh, market item. There's a check there that I'm not really sure how to get. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's kind of an under... A passage underneath here. Ooh, progressive mail. Alright. Unfortunately, now I'm under attack. They need someone else to deal with. There we go. Oh, this was not where to go. these guys again. I think there might be something in this uh, Oh, there we go. I don't know if I successfully opened that. No, I sure didn't. I'm just going to take the hit here. Yeah, that check did not count. Ah, poo. I was... Hoping to, to get the same thing as last time. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. There we go. Metal Gears. That is definitely a market item. I forget how to get up there. There is a check over here, though. Like in the corner? Hmm. Also, apparently, the boss of, of this place is in magic. The cape for uh, Mifa. Okay, I see. Still not sure how to get the one on top here. Oops. area
I think there's a bombable wall here. There either isn't or I did it wrong. Hmm. And now I'm out of bombs. Out of regular bombs anyway. Yeah, I'm looking at the map and there looks like there's a uh, a secret passage like here. And I do kind of see an outline of what could be considered as a door. Or maybe it's there. Maybe that maybe that was what the problem was. Get it? Ah! Oh. Hey, Elia, how you doing? Get it? Oof, just barely. Of course, now that's, uh... Okay, there we go. Definitely didn't have to worry about some, uh emergent technical difficulties at the start of the stream but you know uh so that takes me back to here a bit sleepy i can relate with that mood uh what else can i do I'm trying to remember where was the, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, is there, oh yeah, there, I see a, just a slight outline of the box there. Memory of a Distant World. I think that is number six. Once again, that is what Avera needs to uh, clear her world. 20 of those. Ah! No! Once again, don't mind that. That is the fridge dying again. Uh, so, I think you just got the answer to your question, Grim. I can, but it takes a firebomb. If I don't have any firebombs, then too bad. Um, I ultimately didn't really need to do that, it was just more for convenience. Hey, you may or may not be able to hear the fridge dying just based on how good the um, noise cancelling is. Sometimes it can get quite loud.
fridges making sad puppy sound. I mean, yeah, kind of. Uh, where are these checks? That's kind of a thing with this game is like sometimes it is hard to figure out where I am in relation to like everything else. Oh. That's here. That has a questagon. Yeah, it's an intermittent problem. Like, it will be fine for months and then just start doing this. Ah, uh, do I want to spend my last bomb? Well, that, that'll show me. There's definitely some, some stuff on the other side of that. But hmm. I don't know. I think I might call it good for Tunic for now. I know I haven't done a whole lot, but at least I've cleared out most of an area and also realized that, hey, sometimes I have to think the way the game wants me to think. Oh wait, okay, I can, op I can open this. I accidentally got here. Again, not really a required path, but... Uh... Out. Get to save point. Okay. Uh, I am at least for the time being. Kind of mark tunic as limited progress. Uh, and transition out. Good to see that my uh, my transitions didn't register correctly. Okay. Um, also, hang on. All oh, right, tunic is limited. Do it. There we go. Forgot how my own system works. Uh, let's see. I think next up I want to go into Time Spinner. I should be able to get to the present now. So I'm gonna set up the broadcast. Capture. There we go. And uh, which game is it? I think it's this one. Only 26 minutes on it, so I'm gonna guess that it is this one. Yeah. 
You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. And yeah, I do have present access, just as I uh, suspected. So that's where we're going. Actually, hang on, let me, uh... Open the item tracker so I have an idea of what it can do. I have no key cards, so, uh... We're gonna do our best. That is a gold questagon. Now, I've never played Gold Questagon Hunt, so I don't know if, like, I have to get the Questagons and then do something, or what it is. And nothing much of there. Is this dice max HP minus any reward? Tomatoes. And Apple. No progression. Uh, yeah, you can you can tell me, Aurelia, and thank you for asking. This is just to clarify the the type of goal that I'm going for, and this is probably something that I could just look up as well. It's just I I do things very chaotically here on Let's Play the World Life. And over the question comes as if you're doing the good at okay. Yes, that answers my question. Thank you. All right, let's see who's at boots. I really gotta get into comms a little more for the tournament. In fact, gotta get into the tournament more in general, because like... It's easy for me to kind of get disconnected from what's happening. It just. It's run differently than the Super Smash TV tournament. But with the Super Smash TV tournament, when there's a match that happens, like everyone gets pinged about it. S uh, skill of Wolf. I don't think that's the Wolf transformation. I think that's. Wolf ability. So that's. Oh, right, I have the wheel now. Um, so. I basically have a very. I didn't have enough height for that. I have a very convoluted system involving Sammy and a middleware program written in TypeScript. So the middleware program reads the output of the um, of the archipelago server that is running locally and runs a very small and crappy API server, five living image, that uh, then Sammy can uh, read. And there's like two endpoints. There's one that is the total number of checks for each game sent and received and another one that is the number of checks since the last time that uh, API point was checked. So it, it constantly is reading that since last one but only reads the total one when I go back to the run screen. It's held together with duct tape at best, but it works most of the time. Uh, I can probably put the code up on GitHub or something if you want to take a look at it. Yeah. 
it's not very good, but uh, if it helps you at all, then I'd be happy to uh, provide that to you. can see it being uh, being useful for for async games but even like the the big community async I mean I don't think they're going to to go to that extent but it would be cool to like have a, a display oh that's metabolism oh I like that. I don't know why I attacked the save point there. What's wrong with me? Ooh. Temporal Gyre entrance. Okay, I have pyramid access. That's uncomfortable at this point. <laughs> save point knows what it did. Um, let's see what's underneath. <laughs> Please. First of all, Linnaeus is pansexual. And also, she's polyamorous. So... She gonna do what she do. And yes, by the way, both of those are canonical. I did quite enjoy going through like the actual story and uh, finding out how gay this game is. I love it. I think that's it. Those are all the checks that Linnaeus can do. Um. I could get why not it's right there. That is that is the last thing that is in logic right now. Yes, this light. Thank you. One check in logic, and why not? It's right there. We're gonna get it. So one up for Leah. Let's bring her back to the camp. Here to save. 
that's going to be it. So, um, time spinner is in BK. I can close the tracker now. There we go. So, what is next? I just got Metabolism for Meredith. It's still going to be a struggle to get around, but at the very least I can get around fast. I think I might do that. I'm still being uncertain why I'm able to run the latest version of Meredith in 64-bit and no one else can. I don't understand. It, like, it's when it works for you and doesn't work for anyone else, that's, that's the biggest thing that causes problems. What's the mystery, Charlie Brown? Uh, there we go. Uh, did I? Okay. Never twos. Warning, this game has flashing lights. Most of them are at the end of the game. Oh yeah, I forgot to... I forgot to get the, um... The assets sorted out, because these are the assets for vanilla. Uh, can I get any... No... And no, so we're off on an adventure. Oh, geez. Oh. That was a bit stubby, actually. Ah. Well, not a great start. Ah. I need to charge up enough for that laser. The problem is there's like a million things, so it's hard to tell what I'm gonna end up killing. Holy crap. I don't think there's supposed to be this many things all at once here. Okay. starting to, to think like, hey, is the 64-bit version of this game making things more difficult, actually? But I'm looking up at the, uh, the number of monsters, like 10,656. About 10,000 is correct. Maybe just a bunch of early game floundering that activated a lot of monsters early. He <laughs> walked in on poker mate. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. 
They still just have the old biped, but then three more things came in. That is the silly thing to do. I think I just answered my own question. That is the silly thing to do. I'm cool here. I do silly things. Come on. Come on. I know you're out there. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Well... I think this is the point where I save and quit and reload so I can get more lives. But I did make it so that when you reload the game, you'll always get a minimum of three lives. Because this game can be kind of brutal. Okay, I don't want to be stuck with a save file that has one life on it. Well, good, good luck with, uh, with this work thing, whatever it may be. And thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out in the back. Better yet, why not do silly things? I mean, yeah, I, I, I can't argue with that. Well, that's enough for a couple of more checks. I think I have it set up that, um... I think I have it set up that uh, evolution traps are going to be behind bosses like in general. Just so I don't end up, like, getting destroyed in the face super early. So how the logic follows um, is that it will expect me to have a minimal number of uh, status upgrades. So the reflect shield, circuit charge, and circuit refill, those. I forget what number it is, but it will expect you to have a number of those and one of the four important um, artifacts, which um, metabolism is one of those. And of course, one of the side keys in order to put the first boss in the logic. And while only the first boss in logic, then only the first six checks of each uh, cache will be a logic alongside that. Basically artificial gates, because 
Otherwise, checks can just be anything anywhere, which probably not good. I try to have it muted while the fridge is doing that. No guarantees, especially if a lot of stuff is happening. It's still going. Like, it's the thing. The thing is, sometimes like it'll start screaming for like. There we go. But it might go for like five minutes, or it might go for like three seconds. It's extremely inconsistent, and then eventually I'll just stop screaming altogether and just be fine for several months. Ultimately, I, sh I really need to get that fixed to just... Asking for stuff from management is something that is mentally hard for me to do, even if I know that they're going to respond, like, probably very fast. <laughs> Because they're actually pretty good about maintenance in this building. Oh my goodness. Can I kill you? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh! Unseen. They're gonna be too strong for me to kill. Okay, it's good. Observatory key. Yeah, it's kind of slow going here right now, so I think I might. Think, oh, geez. I think I might end up marking. Oh, no, this is limited progress. But at the very least, the first six checks need to be done. 
before I can really confidently do that. Really, that's just grab as many side crystals as I can. Anyone who's wondering why I'm leaving behind a lot of crystals, by the way, it's just easier to leave them on the floor than go back to the uh, to the entrance and use the uh, the crystal tractor there and just pick them all up in one place. That's just my style of playing. Oh boy. Oh! Well, I thought that laser was gonna be a problem, but I guess not. Oh wait, I, I did get the first six. I'm up to 10. How did I not realize that? Yeah, that's up to 11. Okay, I, I do think, however, I need to clear a couple of more chests and I've just found them. This shouldn't be too dangerous of an artifact here. Semester of the motivation, put away clothes. Well, count yourself lucky, Donut. The last time I checked, uh, I had... I think the, like, at least the last time I checked, this building had one working washing machine for the entire building. It's not great. Hopefully some of them have been fixed since then, but like... When you, when you have a building that has 110 units in it, that's, uh... Not ideal. Anyway, good night, Donut. Thanks for coming by. Oh, that gave me two checks. Uh. Oh, jeez. Just to check here, chest open five. Um, oh, that's not ideal. I thought I would have had at least a sixth one from that, but I guess not. I'm gonna mark this one as uh, as limited actually. I'm gonna just find a checkpoint, go back to the entrance, and uh, cash in as much as I can. I'm full with gratitude. <laughs> I'll still be here for another uh, about two and a half hours if you feel like it. Yeah, I think the weirdest thing about compiling this for 64 bit, like, I was expecting there to be just a mass of problems when uh, I would just compile as is for 64 bit. Um, the only big problem that I ran into 
was the sounds weren't playing correctly. And that was largely in part uh, just because of how the sounds were um, were saved. Like the, the, the sound file encoding. So I just re-encoded all of the sounds and uh, it sounds correct at the very least. There's still a couple of uh, bugs that kind of crept in from the, uh, the SDL2 build. I am surprised I... Like, there, there is one hit that just kind of grazed me. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. I wonder if I would be able to count graze points, actually. I feel like that's possible. To an extent, anyway. Like, I think what I what I would need to do in this would probably like invalidate any current saves, unfortunately. What I would need to do would be to um give every bullet a graze point value that is incremented when a bullet passes close enough to virtue. And if that bullet either gets cancelled or hits a wall, then that uh, that graze point value is added to the full graze point score. But if it hits, um, but if it hits virtue instead, then oh, that's booster bumper actually. Yeah, if it hits virtue, then those points are just lost. Like, I have so many ideas for projects and just not enough motivation for most of them. It's unfortunate. Oh jeez. So the side from improper encoding of the sound, which caused the problems in the 64-bit build, and specifically the 64-bit build, like even the newer version that I, that I compiled in 32-bit, the sounds are fine. The new sounds are also fine. But like, the, the sound design itself is pretty good because every enemy has a different sound effect. So you know what you're fighting, as long as you know what, what makes what sound. Oh. I did say that I was going to find a checkpoint and then go back. I have not found a checkpoint yet. Left, I'm good.
But yeah, like I feel like a grace point system not only would just add a, an interesting ripple to the game for people who are just, just, just as kind of a fun thing. And some people might compare their grace scores, I don't know. But also it might give Zero an additional reason to, <laughs> to play Baroness. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, that ain't great. That's a lot. Okay, one half biped. There we go. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like this game is just a little more aggressive in 64-bit, and I don't know if it's just psychosomatic or what. Well, that's one way to find a checkpoint. Die. And get sent back to one. Alright. Cash in. Uh, requesting on old gas mask. It's not gonna be useful immediately, but that's gonna be useful soon. Ah, uh, then close to this though. I'm also close to that. I can only get one. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. Transition out. Okay. Uh, so with that, I'm going to mark Meredith as limited progression. Uh, that leaves us with three games that uh, should have some prog. Oh, four games. The Length of the Past, Astalon, Symphony of the Night, and Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we're close to break time, though, so I think I might just do that. All right. So y'all can take a moment, get some of the drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, I think we're going to go to probably I'm thinking a link to the past because I should at least be able to do Eastern Palace. I don't know if I have Dungeon Shuffle on but I definitely don't have Entrance Shuffle so I can definitely get into Eastern Palace after that I don't know um I'm thinking probably Symphony of the Night because we kind of started on that one last time and then ran out of time. So there is definitely still some checks to get there. Anyway, that's going to be after break, so I'll see you in a bit.